How you doing? Oh, speakers? It's about time. Bro, this shit has a, had an amp in it. Oh, shit. That's weird. I look I've this never shit, seen that before. I looked this shit up. Mm. Yeah, so what it is, this is like old. Like old school. Mm -hmm. So, this side doesn't have an amp. But okay. if you look at it, the only it only has two outputs for tweeters. It only has one tweeter in it. So I'm guessing each individual speaker had its own amp, right? Mm -hmm. That side doesn't have one. That door? Mm -hmm. Doesn't have an amp. It doesn't have an amp. Okay. It's gone. But I'm guessing the two back ones have one, right? Mm -hmm. So I went and bought new speakers also because that side had a Pioneer in it and this side had the uh, MB Court, mm -hmm. which is some German shit. And uh, so I bought two new front speakers. But... I just did a shitload of wiring, figured out some shit. I need, I don't know where to get, I need one of these. Oh, like a harness tent kind into of thing? The, uh, into the radio. I bought these two, wired it up and everything, mm -hmm. you know, the right way, blah, blah, blah. But this, they took wires out of this. Oh, it did? This doesn't have a ground. Oh. And I can't put a ground into it. This is the factory ground for the factory radio, mm -hmm. which when you take the ground from this, you cut that connector off and ground it. So nothing's gonna work without a ground. Yep. So Patrick told me that Walmart might have these. Yeah, yeah, they have the adapters. Yeah. To, yeah. That go in the radio? Well, I should. I mean, but I think all, some radios are different, honestly. Cause I know this radio, this radio doesn't have to be grounded. This Pioneer, you can, this can turn on without a ground. Which it does. Not I supposed to. I mean, well, it's it uses the antenna wire as a ground for the radio itself. That's weird. But the way they had that speaker working before is they just they did their own wiring. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They had their own wires running to it, just hot, no ground, no fuse, no nothing. So I got rid of that, and I was going back to the factory harness. So I had all my speakers working, and they didn't have a ground into it. So that's the only reason. That's my reasoning as to why they did it that way. Mm -hmm. They must have like just had this radio laying around. Oh, and just. Just threw it on that yeah, thing. Yeah, threw it on there, and then they just had this shit and no ground. But I need one of these, which sucks because I just wired it all together. Yeah, I mean, I know they definitely have those. Like, they have aftermarket radio adapters. Yeah, I've just bought these from AutoZone. Okay. But that's to the factory harness. I need... Oh, so you need another one of those? Yeah, they, I asked Pat. Pat was like, is it for a Pioneer? I was like, yeah, he's like, Walmart or Best Buy should have them. This shit's weird. I've never seen an amp like down there. Yeah, that's old school. That's what that really? is. Really? I was thinking about it. I was like, I wonder if I can make that amp work for both of these, which I could. But if you look at it, this amp doesn't have a fuse. So either it has a breaker, which, yeah, it probably has a breaker. Yeah. But this amp's only like 100 and these speakers are rated to. So is that factory? The MP4? Nah, no. Nah. This is aftermarket. Uh, this what is this speaker rate? 120. So this probably puts out under a little bit under 120. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, I think I don't know why I do that. Like it sound. I'm gonna leave that there though, mm -hmm. and just have this side amplified. And then I'm gonna come back because I'm gonna get a different head unit later. But I need radio like now. Yeah. And I'm gonna redo. I'm gonna actually like solder all these. And then I'm gonna get rid of that. Yeah. And then probably actually put a separate amp, a single other amp, and run it to all the speakers. Okay. And yeah. get rid of these tweeters. Just one? Uh, no, there's two tweeters. Okay. But because these speakers have tweeters. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I just have to rewire, wire them later. Are you trying to go to Walmart now? Yeah, let's go. Send it. Nancy, roll it out. So, here's what we got going on. These two plugs go to the factory harness for the factory radio, which they'd be a male side and they would just plug into the back of the factory radio. And the factory radio has a separate ground, so there's not a ground in any of these connectors. So which is weird. I've never I've never seen that before. What I'm explaining to John is basically 
you think about it, the head unit and the speakers are two separate circuits. So the way the head unit grounds out is through the antenna wire. Mine doesn't do that though. Yours doesn't do that. Okay. Every radio is different. Oh. All right. Every radio is different. I've never seen. I've never seen that. I've done the G. I've done the K5, the Jeep, and this one. I've never seen that. So this has a this has a separate plug for the for the ground. Nope. It's all in. It's, it's all in the, all same in the harness. harness. Yes. Okay. Well, the Dakotas aren't like that. It has a separate ground. It has a common ground. She has a Dakota. <laughs> it's no. the same thing, man. <laughs> Oh, no, but see, but through the antenna though, like I don't understand. John, I, mean, I guess I guess you know it, what an antenna cable is, right? It's a solid metal, yeah, metal wire, wire yeah. and it's grounded out to the body of the car. Okay. So it is a ground. All right. So that's what I can turn the radio on without with just this plugged in, right? To power. No, but you have to have the antenna in. Yeah, and the antenna, exactly. Yeah. If I unplug the antenna, it plugged in, it on, it will shut off because it's a ground for the radio. That's why it turned off all the times, right? Exactly. Okay, okay, now I got it. So now we have to ground out these speakers, which the at the, doesn't run through the same the no, pioneer no. plug, the previous owners, whoever did the radio, took it out. It does not run through the same circuit because it is a series parallel circuit. How did the speakers work in the first place? It, it was hardwired. It had 12 volt and then this it had 12 volt. Yeah, and from, from the radio and, and ground. Then, and then the they, ground they ran their own ground. Okay, okay. And own power. Oh, so you, and then you want the but you need the ground for the whole head unit. circuit. The head whole unit circuit. Or, and and the uh, no. speakers? Yeah. All right, so Diego just explained to me this mumbo jumbo. I still don't really understand, but <laughs> we're on our way to Walmart to go look for a uh, harness for Pioneer. I don't think they sell them individually. All I know for sure is they sell them like the uh, the conversion kits or whatever you call them, like for you to go from stock to aftermarket. So, but we're gonna go see. Which that's what this is. Yeah. Or yeah. So yeah, we're gonna go to Walmart and look. You see, you see what I mean? It's like, yeah, know, like adapters. Now, well, that's Toyota. I mean, maybe like Best Buy, because that's, I mean, I feel like Best Buy, they go into specifics of like brand. All right, so yeah, I mean. Dude, like $21, dude? Hell no, that's a jump. I bought. I have a duel in my car. I bought that one. I never, I didn't like it. I feel like it wasn't. Dude, go for the big baller freaking. Man, you gotta cut for a double bin, man. Double bin, dude. Man, you gotta Watch cut movies? The... No, dude. Apple. I know it's an Apple car play. Yeah, they'd sell that here. They should. I'm surprised they don't. Should. Dang, the GPS, dude. You gotta cut, man. Cut, cool. man. You gotta, I gotta solve all. Alright, so we're back at uh, Diego's house. Um, we didn't find that <coughs> connector thingy, so um, we're, gonna, we're gonna wait till Friday to get a new radio. So. I guess I'll um, continue the video on Friday whenever we get the new radio. Three days later. Hey, you got the jumpsuit on? Ready to work. <laughs> so guys, Friday, Diego bought the radio. I don't even know what radio it is. Better be a double den. Dude, you're just crazy. Like, nowadays these things are so small and so lightweight too. Like, it's crazy. ABC, it's about the same thing I got. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. It was on sale for like 75. That ain't bad. Yeah, and it had like, it has like a bunch of options inside. And it has a mic. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, whatever. Yeah, mine had a mic. I just didn't want to put it in. But. Yeah, I don't know where. I'm, I want to put it in, but I don't know where to put it. Mm. The cable's pretty long for it. Mm -hmm. so. But it has like, it's like its own mode for like Spotify, Pandora, and iHeartRadio. Yeah. Series. I was like, mm, okay, fuck it. Yeah, this might be the same one I have. Dang, you're doing everything legit, too. Well, I'm not soldering it, but. Well, yeah. Mm. Close to legit. Mm hmm. Heat, heat shrink. Yeah. That's what 
we got? So this is probably like the worst part is freaking connecting all these wires. Right. But it's not that much. Not that many. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw that in there. Look at that. All of oh, this. Oh yeah, finally. All, all of this for that. Freaking thousand dollars later just for one little cable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, so he left everything apart. Everything's still taken apart since uh, I think it was Wednesday I last came here, but so it should be pretty easy. So guys, I'm over here uh, editing the video right now. I'm um, just saying a bunch of mumbo jumbo because I have the SD card in right now, but um, kind of notice how long the video is. So I think I'm gonna split it up into two or three parts. Um, so yeah, definitely, I'll definitely uh, put out the next part of the video tomorrow for sure. Um, you know, I just don't want it to be like a 30 minute video or something like that. So um, I think I'm going to end it here. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.